Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video, number 3 in the weekly weapon showcase series, this time with an SA-58 designed with long range fighting in mind. The SA-58 is a modernized reproduction of the FAL assault rifle, and it's absolutely one of my favorite weapons to use in Escape from Tarkov. It's accurate even at long ranges, fires a powerful round, and is extremely versatile in terms of how you can use it and how you can set it up. I love the FAL because it's useful at any level. Whether you're running it bare bones at level 5 or fully kitted at level 50, it gets the job done and it looks good while doing it. I use the FAL in all sorts of ways, sometimes as a short CQB rifle and sometimes as an all-purpose assault rifle. But in this video, I want to share my SA-58 Marksman build. This setup is designed to basically turn the FAL into a DMR or sniper, focusing on high ergonomics, light weight, and a high muzzle velocity for long-range shooting. I'm a huge fan of the semi-auto DMR rifles like the M1A, RSAS, and SR25, and this build sort of aims to turn the FAL into a DMR, but you're still keeping the advantage of having full auto fire if you need to spray someone down up close, which can and will save your life. This build doesn't quite reach the same ergonomics as the actual DMR rifles in the game, but it gets pretty close and manages to stay lighter than a fully kitted M1A while using a longer barrel, so it has a higher muzzle velocity for the same weight. So with that all out of the way, let's take a look at the build. To start the build off, I usually purchase an SA-58 from the flea market. Since it drops from player scavs, the market is usually flooded with them for about 50,000 rubles. Just make sure you get one with a 21 inch barrel for this marksman build. Starting from the front, I add the Daniel Defense Wave Muzzle Brake and Suppressor for about 61,000 rubles total from Mechanic. This suppressor and muzzle brake combo has amazing recoil reduction and improves the muzzle velocity a bit, so I generally use it when running most 7.62 or 5.56 rifles. Next, I replace the D default SA-58 handguard with the CASV FAL handguard for about 17,000 rubles from Mechanic Level 4, which is the top tier FAL handguard for both recoil and ergonomics. After adding a 2 inch and a 5 inch CASV rail, I put on an AFG foregrip and an LA-5 laser onto the bottom of the handguard. To be honest, I picked both of these parts just to match with the other FDE colored accents on the rifle, not to maximize the stats. Next up, I replace the dust cover with the Extreme Duty Rail dust cover from Mechanic Level 3, so I can add a scope. For the scope itself, I went with the Hensel 4-16x scope, sold for about 60,000 rubles by Skier Level 4, mounted on the Night Force 34mm railed mount with a Delta Point reflex sight as a backup. Personally, this is one of the only full-size sniper scopes that I use frequently. The base 4x zoom is very nice and it's usually enough, but the 16x can come in handy for those really long shots. You could also use an MPR-45 mount to stick a canted sight up on the handguard, but I like the look and feel of the sight a bit further back towards my character's eyes for a better field of view. For the stock on this build, I added the SA-58 buffer tube adapter, the Colt A2 buffer tube, and finally the Magpul PRS FDE stock, which has one of the highest ergonomics bonuses in the game, and it's very handy for sniping. Finally, the last piece of the build is the Fab AG FAL pistol grip, sold for about 5,000 rubles by Skier Level 4, which which gives you another good ergonomics boost. There is one more thing on this build that's worth noting though, these tan colored MMW FAL mags. They only hold 20 rounds, which is a bit low compared to other FAL mags, but they actually give your rifle plus one ergonomics and keep the weight down, both of which are good when you're sniping. And most of the other FAL mags actually bring your ergonomics down, and some of them by quite a bit. For the overall stats on this one, it came out to 102 recoil and 59 ergonomics. Not exactly meta stats, but pretty good overall. The recoil is passable even on full auto if you pace your shots in nice bursts, and the ergonomics is high enough to keep the scope steady and aim pretty quickly. As for the price, well this one's pretty expensive mostly because of the scope and the suppressor, totaling around 270,000 rubles if everything is bought from the traders, so it's not making it onto any budget build list. Well that about covers it for this build, and I'm going to let some gameplay clips with this rifle roll for the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy, and let me know down in the comments if you try out the build and have some good raids. I'll be streaming more of my progress in the 0.12 patch on Twitch, at twitch.tv slash jdogthewise, and it'd be great to have you drop by the stream, so I'll leave a link for that down in the description. As always, feel free to leave any comments, corrections, or suggestions down below, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City. Matters. Who's this? That's a Sturman guard if I ever saw one. Okay, we're gonna flank him. Go. 
Gotta keep an eye on the clock here. There he goes. Alright, come on, good loot. This is only the second time I've ever opened this thing. M67. Some good ammo. Eh. Six out of ten. Speak of the devil. Fuck. I accidentally pressed R and then I had to like hold it down while aiming. Got him. Shot him in the ass. I love how the bodies fall in this game. Those were hard times, but... You know, I got through them. And it honestly made me better at the game. I had to learn how to, I learned had to learn how to play ooh, in a way that would let me succeed, even though I like had a shitty computer. Got him. Again, not as smooth and one shot, one kill as I'd like, but I got him, and that's the important part. Such a quiet, like rainy. A little time and oh, I see someone. Oh, damn, I should have taken that shot. Oh, I got him! No shit! Oh my god, thank the god I was recording. Oh shit, back away, back away. I'm gonna get a grenade in here, and then we're gonna go around the back to the bathroom. Very careful here. Scat boss. Gotta try and get in here and close the door. Getting another grenade out. Bad grenade, bad grenade. Shit, front door. Closing the door. Okay, now we gotta cheese them like raiders. I heard shots out the back too. Yep, here they come. Two down, I need you to take the door. Be careful, one might be coming right up. Swap out. Oh shit, another one. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, he's still there. Okay, I gotta heal. Hear any more footsteps? Why do we have 
90 health. See, now this is a raid where I regret not bringing my gigantic backpack. Dude. Very small chance I might have dropped his buddy with that shot. Nope. Close. Dude, are all the players over here right now? What? Grenade at him. Hey. Oh, they're in the fences. I hit one. I hit one. Oh, grenade over here. Can we even shoot through this chain link? I don't know, man. Killed one, I think. Oh. Did I get one? Oh, okay. Anyway, one of right. us did, I don't know. Moving. I'm trying to get grenades over the top of the chain. Can you flashlight him? Oh my goodness. Getting a grenade up there? We're trying. Okay. He's in there. Jesus Christ. One more grenade. He's in the back there. Another body? One dead body. Over in there. Two dead bodies. Okay. Holy shit. Can you I'll open, open this, up, this up, yeah. Dude! That was pretty cool. <laughs> heard someone and it freaked me out. fucking feeling that there's gonna be a dude on those stairs. Yeah, that spooked the fuck out of me. 
Hello. It's gonna work, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Fuck, just a little bit too far. Got him. I wasn't on the right site there at first and it really tripped me out. Please be a scav. Inside each other. Dude, these things are so fucking. They get in the way of your shots so bad. Me and my buddy had a fight like this yesterday. Goddamn 16 times is too much at that range. You bugger. Please don't blast me. 